Hey everyone, welcome to episode 4 of my MK1 online series where I take a look at every single one of the characters in game, take a look at their moves, what's good about them, what's not so good, as well as take the character online. In today's video we are going to be taking a look at Ashra. Now overall, Ashra is actually the first character I sort of labbed when the game first came out. Then I ended up gravitating a little bit more towards Reptile, but I do still really like this character. Um, and she's really strong. She is a fairly complicated character as far as the cast of this game goes. She has a lot of sauce, but at the same time her basic gameplay is strong enough that you can get away with using just the basic toolkit she has. And then if you are like a really dedicated Ashra main, you can go into the deeper stuff with her gameplay. What is this deeper stuff I'm talking about? Well, it's this. Um, Ashra is a stance character. Essentially, she has two sets of special moves, although I will say that really only two of her special moves change. Uh, but she does have some really unique effects uh, across her two stances. So... Again, like I said, she's fully playable just in her light stance. It's what I'm going to be doing most of the time for this video. Occasionally switching to the dark stance, which has some benefits which I'll get to. But, like I said, if you're like a dedicated Ashra main, uh, you will need to learn how to use both of her stances. So, besides that, let's go into a little bit on what's good about this character. Well, the thing is, she has quite a lot of long-range moves. Uh, she uses the sword, obviously, so a lot of her normals are fairly far-reaching. So you have this move, this move, even her regular strings, as you can see, have quite a bit of range on them. Uh, she also has a great overhead and low option. Obviously, this, this is the 4-3, is an overhead. And let me tell you, this move is absolutely a nightmare to deal with. What I'm talking about is that it just looks like a jump. It's technically possible, I mean it looks different, but in practice, in reality, it's very difficult to, dis to differentiate whether she's just jumping over you or whether she's going to go for the overhead and then she can go for like, you know, dirty stuff like this. Um, now obviously this move is hella unsafe, uh, it's negative 10. Actually, it's not as unsafe as I thought, uh, with the benefit that it leaves you quite far away, but it is punishable. However, she has a unique benefit in that her EX sort of uppercut, uh, this is her rising sword, this is her main combo starter, even on block, this move, if you EX it, can be cancelled into one of your jump normals. So, you can do something like this, the opponent blocks it and then they try to punish and you land with the jump attack and you go in for a full combo. So yeah, this overhead is not as much of a risk as you would think. Secondly, she does have a low option as well. This move. Again, this is sort of not something that you can hit confirm, you have to sort of dedicate to this low. But as you can see, it has decent range uh, and if you space it right, you will be able to go into a full combo. So, she has overheads and lows, she also has great pressure strings. This move, this, this is the 4-4-2. This is such a good stagger string, because you can just like go for this, go for the throw, go for this, stagger it, go into this, go into the ender, it's negative 7, it's safe. So she has a good forward advancing mid, as you can see this brings her forward quite a bit. Which you can just like sort of spam and sort of lock down your opponent. She also has some other great normals, this in particular is really good. If your opponent is like backing away from you, you can throw this move out. It's very fast um, and it goes very far as you can see. She also has this 2-1, this is actually a meterless combo starter, so you can go and punish your opponent with this, if I can actually get the combo right, hold on. So yeah, she does have a meterless combo starter, she also has this, uh, fairly good punish, she can go into the sword move, 
and get some very good punishes. This sword move is also fairly good. Uh, there is a gap here if you're using certain cameos like Goro, you can cancel into him, but it's not the best. Um, I feel like with this character you want to have the HP. I'll talk about cameos in a little bit. And then we probably get to Asher's biggest strength, which is her projectile. Now, as you can see, this is a mid projectile. Let me tell you, not many characters in this game have mid projectiles. The other unique thing about this projectile is that it is actually, if I can find it, there it is. It is plus on block. This thing is plus five on block. So this kind of stuff, if your opponent is like blocking you, this is, this is something that you can just like really, really lock down your opponent with and consistently deal chip damage. Um, and then just like spamming this is just very efficient. Um, it works with your overheads and lows as well. If they get blocked, just go into this. Uh, and then you can constantly go in for the throws. So having a plus on block mid projectile is just godlike, honestly, godlike. With some caveats. Obviously, a projectile this strong, if it didn't have some drawbacks, would be just basically the most OP thing in the game. And naturally, this move does have some drawbacks. Namely, it is extremely slow on startup. So if you're doing this and your opponent catches on, you are sort of like becoming very predictable. They will be able to block and interrupt you. Not even block, but just like interrupt you. A down one will just like blast through this. Uh, it takes so long for this to start up. Other thing about it is it doesn't go full screen. So Ashra isn't really a zoner. Uh, you, she can't really win projectile wars because only the EX version goes full screen. And to me, the EX version doesn't have enough benefits other than going full screen for it to be worth spending bar on. So yeah, of course, this does have um, some drawbacks, but that is natural. You can still do this and just like keep up the pressure and then do a lot of shit with it. That's where the Dark Stance comes in a little bit. The Dark Stance, this move reaches a little bit farther than her projectile and it actually is a low, so you do have that. If you want to know what the little buildup is around the opponent's feet, you can like stack I think up to three of these and then certain moves will activate the, the little orbs. Uh, this is one of them and the moves will have like some extra properties. I think they deal more damage. So yeah, that like I said at the start is one of those Ashra specific things. Uh, I'm not going to go into those things in this video because this is just a quick look. But yeah, if you're maining this character, you do have to learn that. Now let's talk about combo damage. Ashra has fairly decent combo damage. She is not one of the sort of most damaging characters in the game, I wouldn't say. Um, she does decent damage, but uh, it's not like, you know, the Liu Kangs and the Scorpions and the like. So do keep that in mind. She is more of like, I think, a pressure character, a neutral character. And then you still have the combo damage to go for because you see this does a lot of chip. So yeah, that's basically her gameplay. You do your overheads, you do your lows, you mix up your opponent you actually have some fairly good space control tools. Uh, this move is very good. Uh, you can actually sort of blast through projectiles with this. This is another one of the moves that changes in Dark Stance. And this is kind of ridiculous because she essentially instantly teleports and the EX version is mad fast. So do keep that in mind. If you're getting zoned out, you always have this option. Uh, she recovers incredibly quickly from this so do keep that in mind she can also do this into a mid attack that's her other wake up uh, this is her main wake up but you can also use the teleport and that's her air combo ender as well the air dark stance version is actually godlike for closing in gaps so yeah do keep that in mind you're, you're like getting zoned out and you just go into if i can actually hit the move you can go into this and then be in your opponent's face. So yeah, she doesn't really have problems with getting zoned out. Still, my personal cameo of choice for this character is Sub-Zero. Why? 
well, first of all, Sub-Zero is incredibly strong just in general with anyone, but you have the ice armor. And suddenly, you sort of lose the disadvantage of not being able to win zoning wars because you're protected from projectiles. Uh, you also get a little bit more combo damage. So you can get comfortably into the mid-300s. And of course, you have an extra layer of a move that will keep you safe on blocks. So Sub-Zero is my preferred, but I think quite a lot of characters can work with Ashra. Um, anything that gives you a projectile, like Motaro, Kano, um, even Sonya maybe, that gives you like a real projectile will work wonders with her because... Like I said, uh, that's one of the areas where she struggles. And then anything that you can have which will give you a mix-up is great as well. So yeah, that's basically an overview of Ashra. I think she's really fun. She is annoying to deal with. And, you know, you do have to be sort of unpredictable with her. But I think she puts out great pressure, fairly good combos, and is all around, I think, a solid character. So yeah, enough babbling, let's go ahead and jump into some online games with her. Alright, oh fuck, of course it's Baraka and Cyrax, sorry, I'm getting salty because uh, I was playing last night and I swear to you that like 80% of my matches were Baraka Cyrax and I'm just like really tired of this character combination, so... Uh, that's why I'm a little bit salty. Because I cannot escape this character combination and it's incredibly overpowered. And... It's just... Not fun to deal with. Uh, I can already tell I'm gonna be salty. I'm gonna be salty because I don't know who the hell came up with this combination of characters, but it is just not fun to deal with. Still, let's try to enjoy ourselves. Oh my god. That's a low, that's a low. Kinda had a feeling it was gonna break. Yeah, I was gonna say I should be able to chip him out. Uh, but seriously, yeah, this is, I think, by far the, the most popular, that's an input error, combination of characters currently. Uh, just because it's the easiest route to dealing like 50% combos. Uh, you don't even need to do anything particularly challenging. Does that low crush? Does it go under... It does, I think. Yeah, because this character needs it. I didn't mean to do that, but <laughs> whatever. Fuck Baraka Cyrax. I'll do a brutality anytime I can. And of course, that's the thing about this character combo that it doesn't really even matter um, how well you play because, you know, it can just like get one um, hit and it can just steamroll. Oh uh, yeah, and you can't wake up against them, except with Havoc. They beat my button. I'm dead, aren't I? No. Come on, Sub-Zero, where the... Okay, there we go. And I did the wrong combo. Ah, this is making me forget my combos. 
I have my combos down. You know what? Let's peace out. God. That's like... Ah. Uh, apparently you can react to that overhead, but... I've yet to see it. Am I gonna get flawless? If the flawless doesn't exist in this game, it's glitched. Are you... Are you kidding me? Yeah, the online in this game sucks, man. Seriously? Um, hello? Game? This is... This happens, like, frequently. I mean, this is not, like, a one-time thing. This is a frequent occurrence for a lot of people. Alright, I guess we're just stuck here until it quits. And it's gonna give me the L2, that's the extra frustrating thing. I think when this happens, when there's a disconnect, it gives an L to both players. Which is just trash, like... I mean... What the hell, man. Seriously. It was him. Alright. I do hope I don't get the L for that. Uh, if he's the one that, like, disconnected... I shouldn't be made to suffer. Well, that was a trash match. Alright, let's try finding someone actually decent. Alright, we have more Wi-Fi. Hey, Reptile! Alright, this should be okay. I should know what this character does, so... Oh, it's Serena, though. That's like... That's gonna be a nightmare. Why would you do it? What are you doing? Alright. I feel like this this guy is gonna be all over the place. I can already tell. Yeah, he is. He is gonna be all over the place. It should be okay, though. It's not optimal, though. Because you can do another rep or whatever. Why am I analyzing this? Oh yeah, I can like totally do this, can't I? With the Sub-Zero. That didn't reach... Okay, I call bullshit on that. Naisu, use the pressure string as always. Ah, oh, that's Serena, man. Serena is just... Jesus. Luckily. Projectile in Wuln. Works wonders. Does that not... Okay, did it... I don't know if it wore off or... I need to break. I just realized I need to... I realized too late. Alright, that's okay. I completely screwed up there, I should have broke immediately. This guy is very all over the place, so I just need to like be careful. This should be okay though. Be a little bit more aggressive, I think. This up. No, it does work. Okay. So it just wore off before. Which is good. That's the wrong move, buddy. Alright. Alright. 
should be death. Yep. Do a nice little punish. It's good that she has a three string. Like, she has a three string that she can cancel out of. Weird break. But that's okay. It's a very, very bizarre tactic of the... Alright, he's got it. Wrong move. That's more like it. I, f I think that has a brutality on it. Maybe I just don't have it unlocked or you need to do something. I don't remember. Finally, we have an okay match despite this being Wi-Fi. Um, it's not like horribly... Uh, choppy or disconnecting or whatever numerous other issues can arise. Oh, yeah, that's safe. That's Sir. I hate Serena, man. Can I just say? And it still hits you on the way back. <sighs> Break, that's okay. Oh my god. Should be okay still. Classic. I've done that a million times too. And it works. Don't risk trying to like dog that shit. Yep. This character is so lucky that it doesn't need meter. Need to be really careful here. He's gonna Serena. Yep. Close. Way too close. I should have sub-zeroed up. It's keeping the pressure up. I'm gonna sub-zero. Weird break. Because I was pretty much done there. I really brought that back from the brink, I feel like. Like, really. That was way too close. A lot of these fights... I mean, that's the thing, like, me not being, like, a super elite fighting game player and just, like, switching between the characters. Like, if I was playing Rake or Reptile myself, uh, this guy would be just screwed. Because... He has, like... A fairly predictable playstyle, but you know, it's just the nature of switching between characters constantly.
To this day, I don't know what determines whether you can like duck the Serena knives or not. I was gonna say bad break, but then I realized that Reptile doesn't need meter, so... Privileged, you know. What? That was an input error. I was gonna go for the projectile naturally. It's all good. Luckily she always switches back, she doesn't... She does have that advantage, uh, that she might not always be an advantage depending, but the light stance is the way to go with this character. Uh, Sub-Zero. What the hell is that? And now we sit here for like four minutes. Yeah, that, that input error happens quite frequently. If you try to walk backwards. And um, use the forward. See, I could duck it, duck it that time. I'm gonna... Nice throw, nice throw. Can't be too mad. Motherfucker. Yeah, that goes under. Fair, fair play, fair play. I was like, no way he has another breaker, right? Yeah. It's like, that's the thing about Raptal, he always has breaker. Nice throw. Interesting that he went for a fourth throw. Jesus, does that work mid combo too? I was totally shook by that. That was my chance to get him. Uh, God damn it. Oh yeah, that's safe too, isn't it? Dead. Was that three games or was that only two? I don't remember. I think that's only two, right? No, it's not. All right. Well, totally lost count there. GG's, GG's. All right. And I think that's going to wrap up my little Asher video here. Episode four of my MK1 online series. Man, the thing about this series is that I like doing it. I like playing all the characters and I like making these videos. But man, the online state of this game the way that it is currently is really making it difficult. What I mean by that is that you saw, you basically saw like the Wi-Fi, the bad connections, the lack of filtering, the random glitches and disconnects. As much as I love doing this series, it really makes it difficult to actually struggle through because I don't know, man, it's just the state of online is just not up to par. This game desperately and immediately needs a connection filter and a Wi-Fi filter because I feel like it's hurting the game. It really is hurting the game. Despite that, I had fun with Ashura. This is a really good character. I think she's uh, interesting to play. She plays kind of differently to everybody else in the cast. And naturally, I am going to continue doing this series. It's just sometimes a little bit difficult to struggle through because you just have like random BS to deal with constantly. But yeah, hopefully all of that gets addressed sooner rather than later by NRS. We'll see what happens. But yeah, for now, thanks for watching everyone.
Peace out and goodbye.